The stage is set and the glittering prize awaits one of these two teams. But which one in the 2022 FIFA World Cup final? The action comes your way next on EA TV. Hello and welcome to a contest of colossal meaning. We find ourselves here just to the north of the Doha city centre, ahead of the 2022 World Cup final. My name is Derek Ray, and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And as you can imagine on this occasion, the atmosphere is building up nicely. It's France versus Germany. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. Here's the side France will go with. Hugo Lloris between the posts. Rafael Varane plays with Dayo Upamecano in central defence. Kylian Mbappe starts with Ousmane Dembele out wide. And getting the vote of confidence in attack today, Olivier Giroud. Here's the starting lineup for Germany. Manuel Neuer gets the nod in goal. Niklas Süle starts with Antonio Rüdiger in central defence. Leon Goretzka plays alongside Ilkay Gundogan in central midfield. And the centrepiece of the attack today, Thomas Müller. And now they get the ball rolling. He's enjoying space. He could pick out a teammate. Takes the shot. And there it is. Living history. The opening goal of the 2022 World Cup final. Incredible celebrations. Well, here's the replay, and just look at that power. That's almost unstoppable. That's a great strike. And France get the ball moving again. Can they come up with an answer here? Griezmann. Dembele on the ball. Chouameni. Griezmann gets himself into the attacking third with the ball at his feet. And the flag has gone up, offside. Serge Gnabry could play it in across there that was decidedly ordinary Giroud Teo Hernandez now
Rabio. Well, moving the ball impressively here. Can he get them level? Oh, God, it is! The equaliser in this final. What next in the drama? Well, here you can see what a good goal this is. He hits it so cleanly and the keeper has no chance. That's a great strike. So the ball is rolling again at one all. Goretzka. Thomas Müller moving it forward. Sané. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Can they take the lead here? Vigorous defending. Well, they can bring it out now. Could be a chance to break here. And the keeper did magnificently. Well, that's just a wonderful save. How did he stop that? Griezmann tasked with taking the corner. And a bit short with the clearance. Interception to snuff out the danger. Joshua Kimmich on to Zule what's he going to do here Müller unable to keep the ball now counter attacking possibilities here will it be sufficiently imaginative well not to be in terms of the counter attack a danger here as he runs at them Simple save, really. Dembele. Clean challenge. Germany pushing forward with options available. Well, closed down straight away. Teo Hernandez. Now Rabio. Yes, man. Oh, couldn't quite find his teammate. David Raum. Müller. Fluency of movement. Oh, they've given him too much space. Always going to be the goalkeeper's ball. Bad challenge. And now it's up to the referee in terms of what to do next. Well, he's gone into the book. Well, he was late and he deserved a booking for that. Oh, oh. Well, a disappointing free kick, a long way off target. Well, no wonder he's looking a bit sheepish. Really poor effort, you have to say. Rafael Varane. Jules Koundé on the ball. Plenty of support here but really sticking to their task defensively. Can they forge ahead? Oh, right in the nick of time. A real opening now. Oh, a goal! As they forge ahead on this massive occasion, feel the passion.
Well, here's the replay, and he's got to clear his lines there. He doesn't do that. He has his pocket picked, and he's been rightly punished. Poor defending. Well, back underway as we reflect on the goal that's made it 2-1. Teo Hernandez. Joshua Kimmich. Leon Goretzka. Back with Zane. Goretzka. Wonderful chance. Well, he's missed the chance. And the keeper didn't have to do very much. Griezmann. And Upamecano. Now Rabio, perfectly positioned to take it away. Dembele. And the counter-attack is on, options available. But the danger averted for now. The referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. Mbappe. A potential danger here. Being pressed hard. And so it is, the first half story has been written. So into the second half, can France bounce back after that first 45? Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Defenders need to cover. A chance to whip it in. The defender doing his job. Mbappe. Well, an opportunity from the corner for France to get right back into this game. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. And over comes the corner. And still dangerous. Tempele, surely the equaliser. It could be up for grabs. Not a time for composure on the ball. Serge Gnabry racing forward trying to catch them out will it be sufficiently imaginative well it looked highly promising but it came to nothing in the end what's he going to do here Muda oh that's textbook goalkeeping substitution then let's see how it affects the match keen to take it short here well, thumped clear. Just cutting off the supply. Well, no surprise there. France have enjoyed most of the possession, but their attacking play hasn't been good enough so far. It's been too Oh, wait a minute, Stuart. Look what's happening. And mistimed the run, sadly. That's offside. Giroud, superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Raum, now with Havertz.
Goretzka. Now with Zane. Return to Goretzka. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Can he get them level? Well, somehow the goalkeeper got to it. And played short. Dembele with the cross. And a struggle to get it away properly. Well, no damage done. Kai Havertz. Gnabry with it. Well, he went strongly into the challenge and the result is a throw-in. Serge Gnabry. Corner kick to Germany as they go looking for more. Playing it in. And the problem not completely solved. And I think the threat has been averted. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Giroud. Crossing opportunity. And it might be. Oh, the equaliser! Just what they needed. And the dream remains very much alive. Well, here you can see it again. Good run, great strength, and a composed finish under pressure. That's a top-class goal. So underway again, and it's a story of parity. Two goals apiece on this one. Sané. Sané. And with that, the attack fizzles out. And into the last 15 minutes of action. This looks promising. Now well, there to intercept. Mbappe Dembele Promising move this from France And making the run to the inside Mbappe Great save at this stage Well that would have been the winner for sure It's a great save Whipped in by Griezmann. So a goal kick is what's coming up here. So making the substitution now. Ten minutes to go then. Plenty of support here. Can they grab the lead late on? Now showing excellent judgment to intercept. Oh, in with a chance! And denied by the keeper. Impressive. Kai Havertz. Gunter on the ball. Germany pushing forward with options available. Good sir! What a big chance that was. Keeper has the ball. Mbappe and a timely intervention Kai Havertz and back with Zane Gnabry now Gundogan and could it be Mario Götze couldn't grab hold of it well they can keep possession now Dembele 
And the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time. Trying to get onto the front foot with the minutes ticking away. Zule stops it. Well, this corner could be pivotal. It might represent the last chance to get in front in the dying moments. But he's gone short with it. Mbappe. Let's fly here. The save was a good one. Played in by Griezmann. Oh, magnificent reaction. They cannot be separated here, and it's on to extra time. Well, the ball rolling again here. The first period of extra time, and you've got to wonder to what extent fatigue will play a part of this now. It's been an extremely competitive 90 minutes. This looks interesting. Gunduan. Chance for Gutzer! And that's fantastic goalkeeping to get across and deal with the danger. A corner from Kimmich. Well, far from the ideal header. And the goalkeeper had it all the way. Radio. Hernandez. Well, it stopped a promising attack in its tracks. And you wouldn't be surprised if there's a card coming out here. And following the infringement, a caution. Yeah, no surprise there. That was always going to be a booking. The cross towards Olivier Giroud, who's waiting at the back post. Well, in fact, a bit too close to the goalkeeper. And that was always going to be claimed. Losing possession. Mario Götze. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. Havertz. Every goalkeeper would expect to catch that one. Giroud. Germany have possession once more. Is it going to end up being productive for them? Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Mbappe. Hernandez. And a chance to whip it in here. Not away completely. Well, threat averted. Now can they counter clinically? And just one minute of stoppage time, say the officials. Good, sir. Oh, the keeper made it look routine. It was anything but. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. And played in by Kimmy. Half time in extra time, and still they are level. Well, extra time continues. We're into the second period now. Griezmann. Still pushing for that goal that would see them forge ahead.
Günther. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? And Kimmich couldn't keep it. Chouameni. On the attack. Is this a be late drama? Can they forge ahead? No! And all because of the goalkeeper. Margins, margins. Well, he has done well there, but he should have won the game. They probably won't get another chance now. Fulkrug. Raum. Close to man. Good, sir! Keeper did his job to begin with. On a time for composure on the ball. Well, five minutes remaining in this the second period of extra time. Rudiger. Gunter on the ball. Sane. Havertz. And what a close shave it was. Radio. Dembele. On the offensive, is there to be late excitement? Well, disappointing end to the move. And just one minute of time added on for stoppages. Kai Havertz well visionary passing credit to them for winning back possession a final that will live long in the memory it's not finished yet because it's going to come down to a penalty shootout to settle the outcome It is all about the penalty shootout. And confidently converted. Can he remain calm? And the penalty converted here. Goalkeeper beaten from the spot. Can he convert? Clinical as always in front of goal. So lethal in front of goal. Mental preparation is such a big part of this. Job done from the spot. In it goes. Composure is so important under these trying circumstances. And it wasn't the greatest penalty. And it's been saved by the keeper. And now he knows what's on the line. If he scores, they win. Oh, that's it! The final act in the drama. One team jubilant, the other distraught. Well, what an end into a very good tournament, and I think they fully deserve to win it. Maybe not in this manner, though, but it was great entertainment. It certainly was, and they're not going to forget this in a hurry. A proud moment for everyone involved with the club, but for their opponents, it's a case of trying to forget and move on as quickly as possible. Well, I think we should give them some credit, too. They played their part in what was an excellent contest. Some of their football was brilliant. Yes, fair play, Stuart. The party in full swing now. It's going to be quite the night of celebration here. the world champions it takes a massive effort to win back-to-back -back world cups but Stuart that's what France have done
and they fully deserve it as well. They've been excellent throughout the tournament. The coach has done the right things. They've had a good team spirit. And just think of those fans. They've got right behind this team. Brilliant for them.